Llenando mis manos de grasa Con carros mi mera talacha Mexicano de Tamaulipas En HM Tierra Bendita Alright guys, so today we're gonna be updating That dome light To this one And you would think Why? The reason why I'm updating it Is because when you open the door Light turns on, right? Or uh, Let's say you want to turn on the light then you got to come over here and to turn it on right well let's say that you open the door well it's gonna stay on and you can't turn it off so let's say you want to leave the door open for some reason and but the light is it's on so the only way to turn it off is if you have one of these so if you open the door and this is off it's not gonna turn on but if you press it leave it on then when you open the door it's gonna be on so that's that's why i'm changing it little junkyard uh find probably got this for free because i got a bunch of parts and i ended up paying like 20 bucks or something like that so i still need to find the plastic and i'm probably gonna update this bulbs to leds but for now these are the tools that you're gonna need so a screwdriver, Phillip head, and then a flat, flat head screwdriver. And one of these to cut the cables, and the uh, cable splitter. Not sure what this thing is called, but yeah. So the first thing you're gonna do is get your screwdriver. You're gonna go in here. Basically, you're gonna just pop this off. And then you look in there and you have two screws you're gonna be removing so that's why you got this right here oh. it's kind of hard to record with one hand i'm not worried about dropping the screws because i already have a new set so then this comes apart if you compare it so this is the old one this is the new one if you think about it it's the same thing same deal the only modification that you're gonna have to do is when you pop this you can use a screwdriver but i did this right now so and this is my doing, but in this case, you're gonna have to use your, you know, your little pinzas. But, you know, I just, I wasn't gonna look like a fool on YouTube. So, I did this before y'all, just so y'all could know that this is possible. All right, so I gotta be careful. So what you're gonna end up doing is, that white cable and then you have an orange right so the white cable is gonna go through here in this hole it's gonna be touching this white cable and then the orange is gonna go in here all right guys so I'm gonna show you how to wire this so you have your light control right what you want is to have a piece of cable like this and I grabbed this I ended up cutting this from um, almost where the fuse box is the fuse box is it's kind of part of the dome light uh wire and what you want to do is you're gonna take this uh light right and you're gonna flip it over because you want to get this off and the way you get it off is you flip it over you're gonna see this leg right here you're gonna get a screwdriver flathead and basically what you're gonna do is push this up like that and what that's gonna do is it's gonna pop this it's gonna allow you to pop it off so once you pop it off what you want to do is get your white cable which is ground you're gonna want to wrap it around your ground like so like that 
And then you're just gonna put it back in place. And then you're gonna flip it over again. And you're gonna push this leg down just to secure the ground. Okay. And then for our orange wire, which is gonna be our power. See, I did a plus for positive and a ground on this side for negative. So what you wanna do is, gonna put this in here, like so, the way down. And what that's gonna do is gonna lock that uh, positive wire in place. You can see it. And now all you have to do is basically take this and put it on the truck. But just to show you that it works, we're gonna grab this battery. And you see this two right here, plus for positive and a minus for negative. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this like so. And I do have one light that is burned, but the other one works, so lights up. So now it's ready to install. So let's go do that. Alright guys, so this is what I have so far. As a matter of fact, I ended up uh, replacing my bulb, my burn bulb, with the old one that I have in there. So now I have both of them working. And obviously I'm going to put some electrical tape in there. And I'm going to put the uh, screws back in. And then I'll show you what the final product is. Okay, you guys. So I did forget to mention that you're going to have to modify this part. So what I ended up doing was just cutting this off just because I forgot to put it in before. So this is going to go in like this. See the little notch that I did? And then just so it can go in place. Also, you're going to have to drill another hole that uh it's already marked in there like this one see how this one's marked it's already marked in there and uh basically you just drill that in and everything should go in place all right guys so this is the final product i still need to find the little glass that goes in here and uh probably order some led bulbs but this is what the final product is so I did notice that uh, when you open the door, it doesn't turn on anymore. Or when you um, kind of like how you would turn it on before, it doesn't really work anymore. So I guess the only time that it turns on is when you hit it in here. So I really don't know what the hell this thing is doing but uh i like it i mean no complaints that way if uh, i need to turn off the light um or if i need to turn on the light i, I should say uh, i can turn it on whenever i want to but other than that as in now i don't have any complaints another thing i want to show y'all so the cable runs from here all the way see this right here that would be the same cable and if you're wondering where it goes let me show you that real quick i know i struggled with this when i was repairing the harness for the truck this is where i made the cut and that's where it supplies the new one because see whenever I, I was fixing the harness for my truck uh this would just cut and was open the cables were exposed so i was wondering where it would go and there was i mean basically no information on youtube so uh, i ended up going to junkyard 
and then I figured that uh, it was this this uh, plug so it goes into the second slot on the fuse box so this is the first one and this is the second one and you just plug in the cable so that's just if you're wondering you know because I know I did face that problem but here goes I'm putting that information out there for y'all in case uh, y'all need it but yeah guys thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next one